Hi, I'm Professor Marcielle Brandler, and I just want to share something with you that I think is very important. Many of my students, sometimes friends, and, and myself, some of us have been very hurt by our parents, and we've been in abusive relationships where we are terrified every single day of our lives. And I just want you to know, whoever you are, please hang in there, do the best you can. If you know about the law of attraction, I would say meditate on your highest good, meditate only on what you want, and focus on the good that you do have in your lives, even though it may be very difficult. I was in a very bad relationship with my mother. She was very, very abusive. I was never allowed to go outside and play with the other children. I had to dig a swimming pool. She constantly made me work. I was the one who cleaned the house. I ironed everybody's clothes in the family. When the family got together every night to watch TV, I was not allowed to. And uh, I don't know, my dad never questioned it. She was very physically abusive. She would wait till everybody was gone. My dad was at work. She would let the twins go outside and play. I have two twin sisters who are younger. Uh, 13 months younger, never had to do a, a bit of work or anything. I did everybody's work. And then she would do her violence on me. And it took me until about, I was around 50 years old, until I could sit in a room and someone walk through a door and have it not scare me. I mean, that was how long it, it took. And I hope that you don't suffer as much as I did. Um, I really feel sorry for people who have been in sexually abusive relationships with their parents because I know that's even worse than what happened to me. But if you can hang in there and focus on whatever is good and try not to think about whatever is bad, only the good, only the good, and focus on what you want. So I wish I would have known about the Law of Attraction. I could have probably meditated myself out of there by focusing on what I wanted. Um, I did wait till I was 18 and then I left home. And, um, but these people, they still live in our minds. We think we're free when we leave home, but actually they're still inside our minds. And so that's why we need to read books like The Path to Love by Deepak Chopra and just work really hard on learning how to love ourselves and don't expect our sweetheart to provide what we need to provide for ourselves and focusing on learning how to love ourselves in spite of these people who raised us and who possibly abused us. So I will be talking more about this with you and I'll always be offering uh, resources for you. So thank you very much. I'm Marcielle Brandler and I'm here to help you.